French Playboy? Oh, killer. I got that covered. Black issue. Like, if I'm going on tour, and I know there's a reason for me to be going on tour, I know that there's an opportunity to, like, to school some, some humans while, while I'm out there. But at the same time, it kind of, like, wipes me because I feel like there's a lot of vampires in the world. Like, and the more you travel, like, the more, like, People like like the fangs are like pecking at you, and the blood is coming out. Like you know, so it's like I like to travel in like an armored car. The recording process for this record is like way different than the last one. The last one, we pretty much went in. I hired this guy, um, this friend of ours from New York, to play drums. We flew him out. And we had him out for two weeks, and we just like slammed out the. The, the tracks, like, but we prior to that, you know, we'd written them and had all the ideas together. But um, this one is just really, it's super organic. It's just like we've just been taking our time, like no real. The only thing that we knew is that it was going to be called Rad Time Four. It's almost done. I mean, musically, it's it's layered up properly and like ready to go to be mixed. But I mean, I've written 320 songs, and I'm kind of like in this place where I feel like the things that I wrote in the past like, like are s still relevant, and I still want to say them. But why should I fucking have to like find a new way to write it because I already put that song out and nobody heard it? Like I want to like be like a rapper where I just fucking like bring that shit back and like put it, you know, like replace it into the, like the present. The RTX show um, in um, Melbourne was really weird. On the, Calvin Klein hired me to like, actually, actually, so that takes me back to the other question. He said, did you ever design anything for anyone? I did this. I did a couple pairs of jeans for Calvin Klein Australia, um, but just just to wear to, like for their event, they flew the whole band over and did a lot of press and shit. And then we played um, we played uh, on their catwalk during their their fashion week. Um, it was kind. It was a weird. It's you know. It's just weird. They picked the song Western Exterminator. Um, or we did or something and we just kind of like went off on like some tangents and um but you had to be conscientious of the the models because they had to walk to the music so you had to like i don't know it just was trippy and then there were like some really weird press people afterwards they were like they were like they were like what well, like bruno they were like bruno even more extreme kind of because they had such crazy accents like, you know, the kind of, the really flamboyant, like, talk, but then with this thick accent, and, I don't know. It was really fashion, fashion. Calvin Klein paid us to go to Sydney and play some shows for our, and we played in Melbourne, too, to play for, um, you know, real people. So you go up the stairs, and then you have to, like, push through these really heavy fire doors with all your shit. And then you're like, okay, where's my room? Okay, logically, here's 218, so you would think that 219 would be like right here, to, you know. No, 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 you're a style, it's on the other side of the building. Skinner box, like you know, then I wouldn't have anything to talk about it to write about. 